Oh my goodness, here we go, Pisces. So, you know, I'm getting into your energy, you know, I'm chilling, and all I heard was, said I'm loving you, loving you every day. Don't you look no more, love without a limit. <laughs> oh my God. We're never going to get out this energy, Pisces. Can you please just take whoever this is back, whichever Pisces energy that I keep pulling out. Can you please take this person back? This is becoming, you know, a repetitive read. So I'm hoping, Pisces, as we get into this read, my kings and queens of love, that uh, <laughs> something else comes out. My goodness. Either way, my beloved, let's hop into this Pisces reading. See what's going on with the Pisces with this love no limit energy. What is this love no limit energy that Pisces is pulling, please? Choose wisely. Rejoice in celebration. You got a choice between two, huh, Pisces? At the foundation. At least you happy. That's all I can say. At least you happy. Whatever you doing, at least you happy. You got awareness at the um in the recent past. Crown in the reading. Love begins. Loving you every day. Don't you look no more. Love without a limit. I just wonder if this is your new love. Oh wow. Oh wow. What is this that's going on? Then to top it off, Pisces, to add insult to whosoever injury this is about to be, at the bottom of the deck, we have temptation, a person torn within self with the heart chakra. Oh, Lord. Let's go ahead and get into this love reading for you, Pisces. I was hoping for an informational reading or what's going on with your life but somebody keeps taking over your readings Pisces okay well let's see what's up the hermit who is this Virgo or this single person is this you Pisces who's this hermit in your energy earth sign let's see what's up Beloved, what's going on with the Piscearians? What do they need to know? And I'm sorry, if you guys hear plastic, today is my self-care Friday. So doing everything self-care, I'll get to my nails a little later, but self-care Friday for me. Yes, it's springtime. Everyone is out, but I don't know. Lately, my energy been kind of um, protected or something. When I go outside, people be raging. I swear the other day in my, in my state, um, somebody got shot by 9.50 a.m. I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, that's horrible. Oh my goodness. Speaking of horrible, here's this cycle. This is either a new cycle or old cycle. But why do I feel like a cycle's not closing out Pisces like this cycle is still continuing in some type of way why is light here you surrendered something Pisces something held you bondage for a long period of time and you surrendered something and when you surrendered it oh my goodness Pisces you became the best the baddest bitch, <laughs> the baddest boy, however, the, you became like tempting to so many people. I'm not sure if you jumped straight in a relationship after releasing somebody or what happened, but so many people were after you. Oh my goodness. Like you shined bright like a diamond. Like this was you. When you let go, your light starts shining. People start being attracted to you. People start wanting you. Yeah, because the will had turned in your favor. But here's the problem. There is someone that still loves you, that still holds two cups for you. Okay? You were mourning over this situation for a while or you were mourning over a few people for a while but it seemed as if Pisces no matter what you have been through your light started to shine and this person is not letting up and you don't see this because your back is turned to this person this person has still been in hot ass pursuit of you okay 
Yeah. You try to walk away from this person, they don't care. Look, this car that's sitting outside, I feel like that's their car. They ride past your house and stuff, Pisces. You might catch them every now and then and say, that looked like such and such car. And you might think you're tripping, but you're not. Why is awareness here? There goes that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That King of Pentacles came through, saw that light, huh? That King of Pentacles, like, who is that shining over there? Like, and you know what? Something within their um, intuition told them to come holler at you or told them that's the one for you or told them, hey, this is someone that you need to talk to, speak to. This is somebody that you need in your life. Something happened. Some type of energetic shift happened when you met this King of Pentacles energy. And I normally don't do this, but I want to see. Mm. Let's use these cards. They're small. What happened when this King of Pentacles energy came in Pisces' life? What happened? I'll never understand why the edges of these turn up. Somebody tell me. Why do they turn up on the edges? What happened when this King of Pentacles came in Pisces' life? Mmm. Oh, that's what happened. Oh, they came with, with, not only did they come correct after a long period of time, but they came off in a relationship. They came self-sufficient. They came with a lot to offer you. For you, for them, it seemed like you matched their energy. Like you must have been in this Queen of Pentacles energy. You were focused on yourself, but you were very loving, very nurturing. You were like um, exactly what they needed. Because when a, king, a Knight of Pentacles comes towards you, they, their plans is to turn into a king. And it's like when they showed up, it may have took a while for them to show up. But when they showed up, they showed up as your perfect match as the King of Pentacles. Ugh, I don't know how your ex boo going to handle that one, Pisces. Mm, I don't know how your ex boo, what your ex boo going to do with that one. That's, this, is what, this is what bothers them. Like not only did you get someone new. But you got somebody that it's hard for them to compete with to get you back. Because this person is your perfect freaking match. Why is Choose Wisely here? Oh my goodness. Drama, drama, drama. This person that caused the hell in your life, Pisces, won't let you go. Um... You know, with El Diablo, I very rarely pick up obsession, but I get this 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 energy of this person being kind of obsessed with it at this point of getting you back, um, doing things, talking to you know your family members, your friends, popping up at your job, calling you at all hours of the night on your social media, messaging you, emailing you, trying to contact you, riding past your house, riding past your job, um, popping up at the job, calling the job. Like I get a lot of persistent energy that's causing like drama in your life, Pisces. It seemed like um. It seemed like this person is very adamant about getting you back. Very adamant. Even in your long times. Like you always feel this person energy. Songs always play on the radio or something like that. It's like, for me, I'm getting irritated. So I know this is your energy. Okay, getting irritated because when you're trying to move on, when you got something beautiful in your life after you've been through hell, so it's like God don't bless you and you got somebody new and you're enjoying it. And it's this fool that couldn't act right when they had you, but now they want to be a fool because they don't have you anymore. Why is this rejoicing celebration here? The hell, that element of pentacles and um, the hair fence. Um, I'm not sure if, if you got engaged or somebody proposed to you or want to propose to you, or this is fool as foolio, 
calling you talking about a relationship yeah because they single and you know in the hermit mode you are supposed to be somewhere focused on you but this person is somewhere focused on you Pisces and they got a lot of enthusiasm behind them Pisces with this hermit the ten of pentacles and this um what is this the initiative wands the queen of wands a lot they, oh my goodness. This person want to talk to you bad. The Eight of Wands and the Page of Wands. They be depressed thinking about you and stuff. They think about the days when things were happy and whatnot. They, um, they, they've been doing some, um, outrageous stuff, it seems like, within your life. Why is love begins here? Maybe in the future this person will get the message, love begins They hate that they didn't see it till it was too late. You know, they hate that, you know, there's someone else that they can't even compare to or compete with. This is killing the hell out of them, right? But they didn't see it. And now they got all this love for you, but you got a new love in your life. And they hate that they didn't see it. Who fault was it though? Cause they was probably somewhere playing with Miss Susie, Miss Betty, Miss Tina, Miss Laura, Miss Juanica, Miss Shanika, you know, Sabrina. What was that? Wait, hold on. This coming through. So this person is what this person was like that, like DMX song. What you bitches want from a... Mm. So Sabrina, Tina, Tanisha, you know, all these women they had or all these, this, this cheating they were doing. Really? I mean, I think this person just needs to be a man about it or a woman about it and suck it up because they effed up. Why is moving on here? Maybe in the future, this is what they'll do. <sighs> oh my goodness, Pisces. The Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. I mean, the uh, King of Wands. Now, I have a question for you, Pisces. Because the King of Pentacles is who's in your life now. Who's this King of Wands? Remember I said that they were in that uh, Queen of Wands energy? Is this person going to be so persistent that they going to get your ass back from this King of Wands? I'm just saying, this person's a real player about their stuff. That Okay, this person is king of wands. I mean, this king of pentacles might have it going on financially, and they might be the husband type, all of that. But this motherfucker's fine, Pisces. And they know mm, they got big D energy. Okay? That's why they had Sabrina and Tina and Laura and Rebecca. And yeah, they... Their exterior, something about them. And you know this too. They're you still a little attracted to them because they're not bad looking at all. And they got a little something about themselves that's attractive. But uh, Pisces, baby. Let's say <laughs> they got big B energy, big P energy, whatever. But why does it seem like this person get out of that depression and get you back or something Pisces like man, mm. I don't know Pisces what's up Ooh, this is a to be continued as story but um the days of our lives <laughs> let's see how this person feels about you please Two more, please. <laughs> Your person is funny as all outdoors, Pisces. First off, they won't let you know. Your friend ain't shit, okay? Your friend try to come on to them, and you know exactly which friend I'm talking about. The first friend that hit your mind. Yup, her or him. Yup. And this is one of the things this person want to tell you when they talk to you. Is that your friend, that one that you be smiling with, you be hanging with, that you be girl and telling all your business to, or bro. 
be trying to get with your person or your ex person on the low. Okay. Okay. Then they want you to know Pisces. They are not the father. If you guys had a situation where this person was a potential father or something like that, they want you to know you are not the fathers, okay? Or they're not the father, okay? And I'm using my um, love oracles in case you guys wondered, okay? That person they was with, that person they was with, Pisces, they left them. Cause all they could think about is you they are no longer in a relationship with that person okay that person is Benito okay two fingers was given to this that person and they feel really bad for what they did they really do because they are so sorry that they hurt you Pisces they realize now how much you hurt because they've experienced so much hurt and pain themselves from not having you in their life like they thought they always would have you in their life and they ain't letting you go. In their mind, you are theirs, okay? No matter what you try to do in your mind, you are theirs, okay? I'm so hurt. How did I let you get away? See, now they're experiencing what you experience. And this is what's drawing them closer because now they understand the BS that they sent you through. And I feel like they want to make it right because... At the bottom of the deck, what you can't see is that you inspire them to be a better person, okay? They want to be the king of pentacles in your life and want to take you shopping, okay? But let's see. Let's see what else. So I'm going to use my real talk oracles. Beloved, what else does Pisces need to know, please? What else does Pisces need to know, please? You guys, I need a tattoo idea. I swear, I'm getting too old. To be still having this tattoo, okay? This is, you know how you have a little boyfriend when you're young and, you know, you want to be a little badass child and you get a tattoo? Yeah. Yeah. I need, I need tattoos ideas, please. Okay? My, um, <clears throat> what else does Pisces need to know about this person, please? Now, this should give the T right here. Let's see what's up. <laughs> I tell you, your person is funny. That King of Wands energy, they are funny as all outdoors. Oh, yes. Big D or the Kitty. They is missing it, okay? They feel like that's mine. I dare you share it, okay? But um, they got you under their investigation. They keep tabs on you all the time, okay? Um, there's not nothing you do. If you post in it, they know about it. If you move in it, they know about it. <laughs> this person is all in your energy. I don't know if it's if it's even even a physical like um, lurking or stalking or whatever, but they definitely are keeping um, keeping up with you some type of way. They haven't been able to deal with it, so what they're doing. <laughs> Staying high as fuck one way or another. Either they drinking a lot, smoking a lot, smoking a lot of cigarettes, doing a lot of coke. Whatever it is they do. They staying high, okay? They're not trying to feel these emotions because it hurts so bad. Now, this is how they feel. They feel like a black widow. They feel like... How the hell did they let Pisces go out of all the damn people? Like, um... You know, a black widow is usually someone who's had a lot of relationships and all their, their partners on diet or something. But I feel like this person and this energy is feeling like a spiritual death. And maybe they're looking at all the people that they hurt and left behind and stuff like that. Okay. Do they got a new whip? Or do you have a new whip? Somebody got a new car or something new. If not, this is just this person coming towards you. They could have a Challenger, a Camaro, a, um, some type of Chevy. Chevy pickup truck, a big boy, a F-350. Yeah, I know about cars because I promise you, if I, ever, um, if I ever get enough money and I can find it, I'm going to get a Barracuda. 
Yeah, my man that sends the cards, they know exactly what I'm talking about when I'm talking about that Barracuda, okay? But yeah, good times. This is what they're remembering, okay? The good times. Maybe you're from California. This person could be from California. Maybe this person got 13.5s. <laughs> oh, 14.5s on their car or something. Maybe they had switches. Nobody rides switches no more. What happened? I used to love switches. But, um... Let's see. So we'll get one more deck. And then we'll close out your reading, Pisces. Beloved, how does this person feel about Pisces? Ooh, Pisces finna get ready to give in. Ooh, Pisces. Look how this motherfucker is smiling. Okay. Smiling. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How does this person feel about Pisces? Oh, you know what I just heard, Pisces? That that person, this is what your person wants you to know. They feel like that other person bringing you down and they could they could treat you much better than they treat you. Like they will have, what? This, wait, hold up. They want to have you flyer than the other person have you or something. This person seems like they want to buy you jewelry and stuff like that. Like, oh no. This person seems like they want to cater to you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh, Pisces. You ready for it? Real phones. You share true romantic feelings worth exploring. This motherfucker loves the shit out you, Pisces. Hands down. Honest communication. Expect the hard to hard communication. Yes, when they talk to you, they gonna let it all pour out. Okay? Everything that they've been hiding, they gonna let it pour out. Then to top it off, marriage is here. Okay? Wedding bells are ringing. I'm gonna let that soak in for a second, Pisces. Wedding bells are ringing. Mm-hmm. They, they, they don't care about the, the, the king of pentacles. And the spirit soul path, a personal evolution within your relationship. So this is more than just physical. It's fit, uh, spiritual as well. This person is deep into it, Pisces. You, where you go? Let that sink in right there, Pisces. Let that sink in. Okay. Either way, Pisces, that's the message I have for you. I thank you so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, love, peace, and so take care.